Well guys, we've made it. It was uh, a little muddy of a ride, as you can see. She's just a little dirty. Just a touch. <laughs> My poor tag. There's the side tent. You guys get a good look. You can see that it's connected right to the door. And that way you can get in and out without bringing bugs inside your, your RV, right? It's got a tarp up for over the fire and picnic table. Got that done. I always use ratchet straps. I've got uh, oh, just over a dozen of them that I bring with me. And yeah, we got the little wing walls for wind breaks for the kitchen. That's all set up. And then inside the tent, he's got a couple of chairs set up. Got that closed up. But yeah, a couple of chairs and a, and a table in case it gets rainy and super buggy. We can duck away and, you know, take cover. Uh, anyway, guys, we're here. What a beautiful place, isn't it? Look at this forest. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's the road right there <laughs> to come in. You'd never know it. Look at this. Just love this place. Love it, love it, love it. Down that little road you can see right there. It comes along. Right through there is a really pretty little lake. Oh, look at that. A little walking trail off the back of our Camp. I wonder where this goes, guys. You know what? I'm just going to take a little peek and maybe we'll go on more of an adventure with the GoPro. Because this is not the GoPro. A bunch of fallen trees. Just love nature. Just love it. Our little camp. Alright, check this place out, guys. Isn't this just gorgeous? A little bit of pollen on the edges, of course. And ooh, look at all the little trout. See them right down here. I don't know if you guys can see them in the water. There's a bunch of little trout right on my feet. Itty bitty little guys. Itty bitty little guys. Let's move farther out and see if we spot anything better it's really shallow here this year but look at this beautiful beautiful lake guys isn't that amazing well everybody as you can see i'm no longer in the bush we're back to the local pond it was a nice week my wife and i spent up there but uh all we did was played cards a whole lot watched some movies stuck in our trailer because it started raining almost almost immediately after we got there and it pretty much rained almost the entire time we were there it was just insane we even had snow one night thank goodness for the trailer or it would have been a lot rougher on us but uh, being that we didn't really do anything and you know couldn't really show you guys anything i thought i'd come down here and try to catch a couple of pike it's a little later in the year now so i'm gonna try chucking a little weightless texas rigged lizard and see how that works. So I'm going to finish rigging up here and get my camera on and talk to you. I see a ton of fry in this water. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're so tiny. They're maybe about two centimeters long, centimeter and a half long. I don't know if they're, I highly doubt they're pike fry. I mean, you know, we're mid June now. Oh, I forgot to check my tension here before I go cast and Gee, that's going to cast pretty okay for weightless. Ooh, maybe not. Backlash right off the hop. That's all right. We got it sorted right away. Just going to cast it weightless. Give a little tap, bringing it back. It should slow. Oh, yeah, that does slow sink. I thought about putting it on a Texas or on a on a weighted rig or a Carolina rig, but I think I'm okay with the way that's going to work. So turn that tension up just a tiny bit more. Why am I backlashing all of a sudden? My brakes are turned up. And... 
Maybe I gotta turn them up some more because of the weightless presentation. I think I just got flashed on by a pike. Look at that. Second cast, just a little guy, but look at that. So they do like the lizard, huh? Just a little guy. Yeah, 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 I'm coming, buddy, I'm coming. This will be easy to unhook because I did do treble, or uh, 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 oh, look at that, a um, uh, barbless hook. So it's got a little scarring on him. Just a little guy though. See you later, buddy. Whoop. <laughs> Zoom and he's gone. Awesome. Lizard's in great shape. They are feeding. All right. Nice little. Oh, had something on it started to move but then I just gave the lightest tap and it came out of his mouth so I will definitely be doing that cast again if he doesn't come back for it he shouldn't have tasted hooks so anybody follow him in no all right let's check it out make sure it's snow he made a might have felt hook a tiny touch I'll try to exposing that again. Do another cast out. Now I'm just watching my line because that take was super subtle. Oh, look at that, just a little guy. Wonder if it's the same little guy, we'll find out. I doubt it though. No, it is not. No, it is not, another little guy. <laughs> You're still hooked, come on. Slick as snot, these guys. Holy. Off you go, buddy. Chunk of weed stuck in his face. I can get it easily another pike off of that. So that's two little guys, guy. <laughs> Both different. So that makes me happy. That one was scar free too. That one was totally scar free. Just got here, did a quick cast off the dock with a curly tail white grub and I don't know what I got, but I got something here. Oh, just looks like a little pike. Oh, no you don't. You can come back out from under there. Oh, he's tugging and fighting hard though. Tugging and fighting hard, guys. I got a 60 pound monofilament leader as per usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Oh, cool, he came off. I do do barbless, so don't know if you guys got to see him coming off, but that's cool. Got a pike right off the hop. I didn't even have a chance to start recording. I'd actually forgot to hit record, but hey, why not? So yeah, yeah. Just, just hooked up on that. Something simple, something light. Wasn't even sure that I had hooked up. I thought I stuck a weed. And when I gave it a tug, it tugged back. I'm like, no way. That's awesome. Made me so excited. Across the bay this time. 
I'd cast that way first and that's where I hooked up so I'm just kind of just scoping out this little boat launch before I hit the other side of the rocks and see what kind of action we get over there. I was just giving it a nice slow steady retrieve. Ooh, here comes a thunderstorm. It's rumbling and booming everybody. Do a couple quick drags this way. Let's try going to the bank there. All right, one more cast this way. I don't want to get out on the rocks until I know what's going on with this cloud up here. What the heck? You never know. We'll cast a little quick cast out there and drag it back. Oh yeah, this cell's not too bad. I think it's going to miss me. Just miss me, but I think it's going to miss me. Got another one, guys. Awesome fish on. Woohoo. Doesn't feel too big, but... Well, he's trying to pull drag. I got a pretty quiet drag on this, so... There's, yeah, shake that head. It's probably another pike feels like it shake and dig shake and dig yeah it's another pike oh hey come on now oh look at him dig that bent that rod but good all right come here buddy oh nice little jump pal nice jump pal come on now That's two from the same spot. Not, uh, he might even be the same freaking fish, guys. Off he goes. I think he was. He looked like he had the same dimple. That is just hilarious. You know they're ferocious when you hook it two times in a row, because I'm certain that that was the same fish, guys. You know what? I've never used this. Maybe I'll... Give that a try. Why not? Why not? Can't hurt. It's never even seen the water. It's a little underspin marabou jig. Feels about the same weight too. This might be overkill. I've never used a marabou jig like this one, so. There. Let's try that. I have no idea how well this will work, guys. But let's get it wet first and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. It might work. It's all right, I'm getting thirsty. Very thirsty. Yeah, I got a fish. Didn't even realize it. I was trying to get the weeds off and just jerking the, uh, jerking the, the lure and, or the rod and yeah, I hooked up. So fish on guys. That's funny. Wasn't even trying at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you tug, you tug. What do we got? Is that another pike? A walleye maybe, guys? 
That's a pike, I think. Just a little guy. No, no, I think that's a walleye. Look at that. Caught me a little walleye. Wasn't even expecting it. Nice. Nice. Ooh, he's got nice color on him, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mellow out, mellow out, mellow out. It's okay. There you go. Nice, nice shape walleye. Beautiful colors, nice shape. Hi, not monstrously big, but. Gotta love barbless hooks, guys. Nice, multi-species day. Love the color of these guys. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Look down his mouth, guys. Wow. Yeah. Shiny little old walleye. Let's get you back in the water, my friend. Off you go. Nice and slow. Thank you, my buddy. He's in my shadow right now. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Was not even expecting it. Just jigging her up and down. Bam. Just trying to shake a weed off the end of my rod or off the uh, off the line as it was coming in. Yippee! Everybody, I'm guessing that this spells the end of fishing today. Just constant rumbles. It hasn't stopped for like five minutes, and it's moving in. So I guess that's it. <laughs> Got one on this little kind of frog. Turn that drag up a bit. He's brought me right into the weeds. It's just a little guy. But this frog has a rattle built in. As you just heard. But he can't see a thing, so of course, you know, fight over for him. Sort of. <laughs> Once he felt my hands, he was back at it though. To get some of this salad away from his face. Alright. I don't know if you guys can see that well. I hope so. That's the whole point of me doing this. Is trying a different camera angle. Come on, out of my pocket fires. Now, how did we hook you, little fella? Off he goes. Huh. Well, that's cool. Oh, that's totally cool. I wasn't expecting this uh, frog to work because it's hard bodied and just rattles. It's not exactly a top water lure, but it worked. I am surprised. See, as you saw, guys, it just sank to the bottom. All right, everybody. A little bit of an all over the place video. Fish here, fish there. Caught some pike, caught a walleye. And then uh, I actually uh, wasn't too pleased with some of the footage. I've been kind of annoyed lately looking at the footage and everything. And, uh, and just with the chesty on, it, uh, when I'm bending down to grab the fish, you guys are spending a lot of time looking at rocks and my knees and stuff like that. Not very interesting. So I got myself a head mount for my GoPro. And the very last fish that you saw in the video there was from that head mount. I'm gonna be using that from now on to get uh, footage when I'm fishing, just cause it's uh, a way better angle. You actually get to see the fish a lot easier and you spend less time looking at my knees and the ground. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, I will still use my chesty, of course, when I'm wandering around doing, uh, doing hiking and you know, animal spotting and stuff like that but uh, I think for the most part when I'm fishing I'm going to use my head mount just to get you guys that better angle for the for the shot because uh, you know that's that's kind of what it's all about anyway everybody like comment and subscribe we'll be going on another trip fairly soon hopefully this one I can actually get some fishing and and some exploring in instead of just you know hanging out hiding from the rain in the snow but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, tight lines, and remember, any time is a good time to be outdoors and fishing.